President Ekofuado has commissioned phase three of the five district water supply projects in Adakluwaya in the Adaklo district of the Volta region. The project has reservoirs, transmission, distribution lines, and fetching points in 95 beneficiary communities in the Adaklo central, Tong, and Agotemeziope districts. As a report by Fred Kwame Sari. The process for the construction of the five district water supply project commenced in 2012 to serve the Agotime Ziopi, Central Town, North Town, Ho West, and Adaklu districts. Phase 1 and 2, which were completed in April 2020, saw the extension of treated water to 120 communities in the Adaklu, Agotime Ziopi, and Central Town districts. Phase 3, which commenced in November 2020, has since been completed with water being extended to 95 more beneficiary communities. The Chief Executive Officer of the Ghana Water and Sanitation Agency, Dr. Walanyo Kojo Siabi, highlighted the objective of the five district water supply project. Our data indicates that about 33% of groundwater resources in the Volta region have iron, manganese, common salt, hardness, and other water quality challenges, which have health consequences. The removal of these contaminants from groundwater require complex water treatment methods that are also expensive to operate and sustain. This is the major reason why Community Water and Sanitation Agency finds the harnessing of the Volta River for safe water supply to communities within its basins the most appropriate and technically feasible solution. President Akufuado underscored his government's commitment to promoting public health by increasing access to potable water. The focus of government is to ensure that all regions across the country are provided with adequate, safe, affordable and reliable water services. We're also committed to ensuring that we practice safe sanitation and hygiene by the year 2030, 2030 in line with the attainment of the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Our strategic goal is to use a multifaceted approach with emphasis on governance and sector institutional strengthening to accelerate access to equitable watch services through our government. 